What else came out here? This little wooden basket. What in the world is this? What did you find, it's Dan? A it's a coconut light. I couldn't remember what these little canoe looking things here, but they're weaving shuttles. Weaving loom shuttles is what it says um, when you look them up. <clears throat> this is a really nice chair. <clears throat> Beautiful wooden vintage chair. And you got all the spindles here. I don't see any missing. I don't see any broken. So very nice. <clears throat> Let's look under, underneath it. Hold that kind of up for a second. Or I can see the bottom. See if it's kind of and nothing on the bottom no name or anything but right. lots of nice chairs and we're almost got the oh, big trunk uh, chest uncovered the bag was that a coffee maker looks like a nice coffee maker. is that what it is like espresso or something yeah. oh, big delonghi magnifica mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's probably worth, worth, it's worth a few dollars. Cappuccino and all that stuff. Yeah. We got an old, this rug's in rough shape. But look at the back of it though. I think it's handmade. Is this thing handmade? Maybe. I don't know. But it's really, really dirty. Alright. Is there going to be anything in this big chest here? <laughs> Even if there's not, the chest itself... It's really neat. <clears throat> Trying to get it out where we can make sure we can open it, but here's a good look at it. Look at the handles on the side. It's got a little bit of damage right here on the top, and then a crack going there, and then you know wear and stuff on the top. All right, let's see what we're gonna find. All right, blankets. That's pretty typical. But look at this mirror. That's really nice. That's cool. Got a flag under there. Like a Vintage hat. Let's see another blanket. Some stamps. All right, some old stamps, yeah, and some old scissors here. Old parcels. Whole little envelope of stamps. Stamps. There's a million stamps out there. Most of them aren't really worth much. And I don't know hardly nothing about it to know if I ever have a good one or not, but a vintage wallet. Yeah, it's a clutch. Clutch. Bill pack, artisans and leather. Originals by Billy Pack or Bill Pack, I don't know. We have a flag. Big folded flag here. More blankets. Lots of blankets up and we got other goodies down underneath all the blankets. Oh my goodness, look. More ashes. Atlanta crematory. We'll have to take these up to the office. These two things of ashes and see if they... See if they'll take them. Some places won't take anything. They won't let you leave anything. And in some places they want it, so we'll see. Oh, here's an old box. Look. Oh, that's cool. yeah. oh. All kinds of jewelry, but. Can you hold it? Yeah. Look at that. She had it's all, see, it's so nice and neat in here, yeah. She kept it nice. That. I think a lot of it's, you know, just vintage costume, but it is vintage. Look at the glasses. Those are cool. I wonder why they cut that out. You cut it out or it fell out maybe mm, but lots of nice vintage pieces these might be gold earrings right here they kind of look like they may be these are Monet Monet there's a what is that oh, it's a Got 1953 a dime it's a penny oh penny it's a penny it's just, sorry I'm like so you get the 1953 penny in the 
I guess that's oh it's okay it's like a charm you put on a necklace yeah but lots of nice um looks like mostly the costume but it's really nice vintage stuff and underneath it here's another box this is hold on let me move some of this stuff here's a little glasses case this is laying here look at those All right, let's set these over here. Okay, this is a light, like a little lamp, but it's been, the plug's been cut. Really old purses. That's so cool. Leah's pulling out the vintage purses over here. It's an old dime and an old penny down the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. I get this thing, it's either heavy or it's just like stuck. Okay, there we go. It's not heavy. Thompson Boland Lee. Oh, it's an old pair of shoes, okay. It's like a kid's, oh, they're like kid's tap shoes. Another purse that looks like something from like the 70s. Like Leah's, she's claiming stuff for her booth. That's all right. Uh, little bell. Look at this. Is that for your, for your hair? Or is that something else? Uh, something that's broke. I don't know what that is. I thought it was like a hair thing at first. An old perfume bottle. It's another one. They're empty. Another box down in the bottom here. A little tin. Oh, and look at all the cufflinks. Where are those glasses at? Are those the same ones? The glasses <laughs> right there. This thing is full of cufflinks. Look at, there. Look at this. It's got a cement mixer on it. These are like the same glasses. Is it? Is it? Um, they may be. The same glasses in that picture. But lots of cufflinks. Um, I don't see anything that you know that looks like it's gold. These are Swank. That's a common brand. But nonetheless, some really nice cufflinks here. Here's some kind of little. What is this? Uh, Lutheran Sunday School pen. Ten karat gold filled. But these are. Interesting here, the little um, cement truck ones. Look at that right there. That's cool. Germany. Oh, yeah. La Mode Illustrated. So, kind of like some French mm -hmm. style art here. Is there another one? Two vintage round frames. Are they identical? No, nope, they're different. They're different. They're just from the same. Mm -hmm. All right. A vintage dish here. A platter. It's Lots of so. Looks like it's mostly um, blankets from here on out. A few pictures. Some clothes in there. All right. So clothes and blankets the rest of the way. All right, another good box, Leah. Just hoping we got a Turner Hat Company cowboy hat. And then she just found this, um, the Franklin Met Treasury of Zodiac Metals. Oh, wow. This is from 1970, March 26, 1970. So here they all are. That's what I am. It's got all the symbols, Virgo and all that stuff. So no idea what that might be worth. It's kind of cool that it's as old as it is. Yeah, the box is a little bit rough. I mean, the box is there. It's a little bit rough, but here's a Dell laptop. Some picture frames. Not much else going down down in there. Picture frames, paper. Wait a minute. Here's a culinary collection from the Metropolitan, Metropolitan Museum of Art. So they like museums. This is... I don't know what book this is. Cookbook. 
Orleans. The New Orleans cookbook. What's that though? And then there's a, this is called New Orleans Creole Cookery. Look at that. Whoa. That's really neat. But these old New Orleans cookbooks, we've had before, sometimes they do pretty good in auction. <laughs> cookbooks in general, sometimes not very good. There's some headphones in there. So this is the thing on these headphones. These are always dry rotting, but these aren't. Those are in good shape. Surprisingly, because some of this stuff looks like it's been in here for a while. <laughs> Alright, I get the there was a mattress here, we got it moved out of the way. And as you see, we got lots more boxes. I think I'm gonna run out of battery before we can really go through all these. Look at these two little I guess they're I guess nightstands. They're really big, but just some kind of matching pair of little cabinets or something like that. Lee's got another box here and look at these binoculars she's got here. It does. What is it? There's a name on the I saw someone right there. Sands, sons and sons and strife. So these are like, would these be like opera glasses? Yeah, these are opera glasses because this is a little in case. Japan. So the, the look how rough condition that case is in there. I wonder how glasses. old they are. And then look, we got a we got some kind of Yoda thing here. Let's see. Oh, cool. It's a Yoda. Oh, Yoda one for me. A little Valentine's. Little stand up guy. So <laughs> Tiffany and Company bag, yeah, and it looks like oh here's another something. It's a camera. Some tools down in there. It's a Kodak camera. Here's this folding camera. Look at that. That's a cool camera right here on this old Kodak. It's, it's a folding camera. And then Leah found the folding camera here. That's and so it stretches cool. out. What brand is that one? Agfa Ansco folding camera. I've had one of these before. I don't remember how you open it right offhand. Somewhere that this whole thing will open up. But right offhand, I don't know. I don't want to. It's like you feel like you're going to break stuff if you pull too much on it. All right, luckily there still had directions Leah found in there, the open release button. It's that little tiny button right there. So it's going to open up like this. That's so cool. And then it's going to stretch out there. That's cool. Look at the lens on that thing. PD-16 Plin X. thing was made in Binghamton, Binghamton, New York. Let's put it back in there. Now, okay, there it goes, it locks. It goes back in here. Another little box Leah's phone. There's a hammer, a mag light, cards and stuff in here. It's from, it's a budget offering from the First Baptist Church of Okay. It's like, a, it's about an offering at um, an old church here in, in Atlanta. I don't know if that one's still there or not. But down in here, lots of there's more like old order blank. Like I said, I'm gonna run out of batteries soon. There's still a lot more boxes to look at, so we'll have to end up looking at some of this when we get back. Aramel stationery, but then it has like here's an old letter from 1954. They Boat motor. Yeah. We got the instructions for an old yeah. boat motor there. Funny. It's an Evan Roo. And other than that, lots of paperwork and stuff. We'll have to definitely look through because sometimes you can find some really neat stuff in the old paperwork. There's an old pen here from a realty company. It's kind of in rough shape. And the newspaper's carrier or something. Yeah, from 1961. Some old cards, playing cards, B playing cards. All right, so like I said, lots of lots of digging. Is that, a, is that another camera? Or no, that's something else. What is this? So this somehow heats up. I think it's still missing something, or maybe that's just a maid to put something on. 
but an old curling iron. Look at that. That's really neat. We'll have to look down on the bottom there. There could be another piece to it. Mm. Who knows? Here's a rook gain. I don't know. Just lots of little cool stuff. It's a whole dictionary. Some of those tiny dictionaries. It's like the ones I've seen before. I mean, it's got a million tiny little words. The print's like really, really tiny. All right, an old Rolex box. It's not in there, so we'll have to keep an eye out. That was in there. <clears throat> Rolex oyster little anchor kind of accessory thing. So we'll definitely keep an eye. But even the box by itself, we can get some decent money for in the it auction. It comes with this box. Oh, it's got the outside yeah, box too? Yeah, it has the outside box. But we'll definitely have to keep an eye out for that watch. Because if it's in here, that thing's going to be real. But... It might be on his wrist like right now. I, we don't usually find the box. Like. All right, there hadn't really been any containers in here, but here, for some reason, we got a stack of four containers. I wonder if it's just random stuff, or if there's all something kind of that matches each other in here. And he's over there finding more stuff. She found a like watch four. case. Oh, she found another Rolex box. We have two Rolex boxes here. No watches yet. And we'll see. Feels kind of just like clothes. No, it's not clothes. Something wrapped up. It does not weigh very much though. Oh, it's just glassware. So this may be I think it's all that feels the same. So this is a lot of glassware. Is this gonna be the same? Maybe this is just all glassware. They put it in the container so you know, kind of protect it. Yep, more glassware. All right, this is necklace valuable. When you first look in there, there's these sheets and they're really nasty. So we didn't even look under them at first, but when you move them out of the way, it's a picture frame. Some kind of jewelry here, let's see. Flashlight. Got a little bit of change. I don't know if any of this is anything besides costume, but let's see. What does that say? It's got a little tag hanging on it. I don't know what that says though. No. That may be silver, but. A oh, cool little Bradley clock. Yeah. There's some vintage stuff. He's done some more vintage stuff. So, I mean, this pretty much, it's nice stuff that looks like a lot of costume. Very nice costume stuff, though. All right, so this is the box on this, the little clock in here. And it's a vintage mechanical made in Germany. A little Bible. Lots of stuff in here wrapped up. This is one of those little, um, you know, things you shine the light up in. New York City has got the twin towers there. We've got milk glass. Regular glass. Put all the glass down in here. Little pottery piece there. Little dishes and stuff down in here. Little saucers. Oh, Leah just found some jewelry. I got some kind of box right here. Rouge St. Croix Music Switzerland. It's playing Bert Bacharach music. That's a little music box. I don't think it works though. No, it's not working. All right. Looks like a lot of costume. Mm -hmm. A lot of costume. It's a good costume. Mm -hmm. A 
little stone handle holder in it. Alright, one more thing out of this box. Oh, and we got a nice look at this glass right here. Alright, there's a few more things in there. Alright, we got an oil painting here, looks like. I don't know if that's 76 or 96, but it's a real one. I don't know whether that's worth anything or not. We got a kind of an odd print here. It's like Jesus on a cross, but he's laying, the cross is laying on a waterfall. I don't know, I've never, never seen that. What is this? There's some kind of huge piece of art. Let's move that out. Some kind of, I don't know what this is, artsy kind of stuff. No idea. All right, getting back here towards the back. We got clothes. Oh, pillows, sorry. Pillows. That kind of thing. All right, we got a few more boxes that are back here. Well, a good amount of boxes. These two pieces of furniture. This desk kind of thing here, and then these couple furniture type pieces here, and then the door, if, if that's what's in there. Looks like it probably is, but if that's the door, that's what it is. If that's the door, that's a really nice door. Usually a door like this, you're, you're talking about, you know, $1,000 plus, sometimes a couple thousand dollars. All right, all these boxes back here. Leah keeps finding more Dome, Dome vintage stuff all wrapped up and mixed in here. Just gonna take a, <clears throat> we're gonna have to wait till we get back to really look through all this because we've been here for a long time already. Let me just take, we wanna try to be leaving here before the traffic really gets bad. That's cool. Yeah, so a lot of vintage stuff wrapped up in here and a lot of these boxes we've been finding back here. All right, so here it is, the door. It is there. It's new. It is dusty down on the bottom because it's been sitting here, but it's fiberglass. It's not wood, but um, I just looked at up on Home Depot for a door, fiberglass, similar to this. The cheapest thing I could find was $888, and then they were going on up there up into the thousands. So, you know, it's about a $1,000 door, so I should be able to get, you know, at least the 250 or 260 that I paid for the unit on that door there so that works out good as you can see we're almost done here we still got to load up these couple bigger pieces and lots of cool stuff we're seeing in these boxes we just don't have time to really dig all the way through oh leah's just pulled out a metal case here hold on you gotta move it over so we can see can't see back here it's got the key in it body donation to Emory. Okay, so that's probably about, they like donated their organs and stuff maybe. What is this? Christmas 1978, or Xmas 1978. It's like a, is it a pen or? So this is just like a little makeup Schaefer? thing here. Elgin America made in the USA. Schaefer's, that's a pen company. It's cold, it's cold. Kaminsky Fine Jewelry. And that says um, 10 carat on it. On that part. I don't know about the chain right off hand. Let's see. The chain. That oh, says 10 carat also. And there's another little piece here. I can't tell on that. What is that? Not sure exactly on that. Here's another, either a glasses box or it was a Parker pen, but it's got buttons in it. Okay, so it's a little um, like pocket watch almost kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We got one more thing here. It's a necklace. And it's marked, what does that say on it? I can hold on to it here. I can see. Oh my goodness. It's right there, but I keep it. 
keeps turning. It says 14 carat. So, a little 14 carat gold necklace. A little tangled up, you gotta untangle it. So, a couple pieces of gold. This is pretty nice. Some odd buttons. The Schaefer pin piece and the watch. So, a few things here. And then, I think this is like paperwork for when they donated their organs or something along those lines. But lots of just probably more stuff we're going to find because we just haven't been able to go through every inch of this but lots of just cool stuff like this just a couple things to a couple things left to load up and then we will look at more of it once we get back to the store all right we got everything back from that unit unloaded it's actually been here for a couple days we've been going through it and everything um and over here and just got scared shocked by something she saw there who knows what that was but um She's over here going through stuff. We've been going through a lot of stuff, you know, we already showed, but a couple of things that we found. A lot of nice glassware here. These are pretty nice. These are actually, there's only three of them. One of them was broke all to pieces. Waterford crystal there. These are all Linux. There's a set of six. A little funky vase here. But we're digging through. We'll see if we find anything that we haven't already seen. And hopefully Anne doesn't get scared by anything else she finds there is some um risque stuff in this unit that you know we won't be able to show everything but we've been finding oh and look at this thing right here an emergency clown nose that's kind of interesting never leave home without one it says it's <laughs> warning for your safety it is advised that you first apply emergency clown nose before attempting comic behavior in public I don't know. Maybe I should keep that since Leah's afraid of clowns. All right, got a little Ziploc bag here full of little Swiss Army knives. We got one, two, three of them. And then we got a couple of these knives here that are, you know, the same company that makes them. Um, that Hoffritz. H-O-F-F-R-I-T-Z. So two of those. Three of these. I think they're all, are they identical or? Mm, yeah, I guess they are. I thought that one was a little bit bigger. But I mean, not huge money, but for one little bag, you know, if you start adding up, I mean, if you just said 10 bucks, which would be cheap, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, but it'll, you know, they'll go, I'll put them in the auction and I'll probably get more than that, but 50 bucks in one little bag, not a bad deal at all, but we're still digging through, trying to just find some stuff that I haven't already shown. I know there's a couple boxes over here at the end of the unit that me and Leah did not look in, we just we just kind of threw on there. I think they're kind of, I think like that one there, that that little stack right there, or like this. I know I didn't show that little Buddha statue, a couple little pieces of pottery. I guess this is like a flask that somebody made. This is kind of cool. But we'll see what else we can find here. All right, we got a box here. There's some kind of briefcase in here we're gonna look at. Even though I never find anything in briefcases for the most part. It's still always interesting to f when you first open them up. Idle Country, Personals, Muscle Men. All right. All right, so we got a bunch of VHSs here, Latin Party. All right, it doesn't really feel like there's anything in it. It's, it's covered in mold and mildew here it's a side side opening if we can open it well oh, that one popped open let's see if I can get this the other one popped open on zero 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 but Usually these things just put a screwdriver under on these briefcases, they just pop right open. There it goes. All right, let's see. What do we have? Looks like hardly nothing. A few papers, account statement from Wells Fargo, some business cards. Cobra papers, so that's the insurance stuff, so, yep, nothing going on in there. As far as what else is in here, more, some more VHSs, like a 
cassette tape holder here. Candlelight magic curtain time. When you were sweet 16. The London Promenade Orchestra. Okay. This box here, we did not go through. Um, I opened it up right here on the top. There was a bunch of towels. Now under here, it looks like there's going to be some mixed goodies. Let's see what we got. HLCM Chicago 1918. What does that say? There's some more print. Man, I can just barely... Not even really at all make it out. I'm trying to see. We found a lot of sterling. I have to take it up like a brighter light or something and see if I can make that out. Here's another old camera. We found several old cameras. Okay, this is not an old camera. This is like a probably like a 90s camera, it looks like. I mean it's old, but it's not like a vintage cool looking old camera this is just i don't know are these starting to come back where people want these things these like cameras from like the 80s and 90s i don't think so but i could be wrong there A little pocket watch let's see oh there we go all right, Hanselin Quartz Pocket Watch. Some other stuff in here. Let's see what we got. There is a plastic Junior Park Ranger Glacier National Park little badge there. Here's a ring. This thing looks like it's sterling silver with a turquoise stone in it. I'm almost positive that thing's going to be sterling silver there. That's pretty nice. Keep on looking here. What is this? Oh, it's a keychain. It's a keychain. Looks like a little bottle of Contro. Contre. Some kind of liquor. Oh, there's keys to something. Looks like to a jewelry box or something. Some beads and a little old tape measure. Here's a chain. There's a necklace and a bracelet here. And that says that it's silver on the um, necklace there. And then we have this chain here. It says it's, it's a HD. Is this a Harley Davidson bracelet? Kind of looks the right style. I believe it is. I think I think that's going to be a Harley Davidson. Might be wrong, but I'm thinking that's what that stands for. All right, so some goodies in there. Let's keep digging. Just a bunch of just miscellaneous junk from here, but when you start pulling it out, you never know what you might find. Well, looks like a um, cameo style thing there. It's a made in Spain, Porcival vase here. Oh, what is this? Some coins down here. We got a little set. Panama's coins. Okay, that makes sense. They definitely went to Panama. I've seen several things from um, Panama. Took a trip there. Bought some souvenirs. Oh, they went to the Golden Gate Bridge. San Francisco. Got the big black beads. Right, what is this thing? Made in Mexico. Oh. Little beaded necklace fell out. Let's see what else is in here. Some more beads, some shells, a couple pennies. Shells, some odds and ends there. Picture frame, some miscellaneous candles, some decor. Let's see. Just 
still looking for two Rolexes. I don't think we're going to find them, but you never know. Down in here, a little wooden jewelry box of some sort. There's a little charm. <laughs> of course, I dropped it. Oh, it's right here, though. And then other than that, some pennies. Some other charm. And there's a charm. Where did that go? Okay, that thing bounced all the way over there. I got it. There we go. Soap. Yep. Soap. Um, more soap. Okay, what is this? This is cool. It's like, it's brass. And then it has like the little kind of, um, I don't know, mosaic tile looking things, but it's an apple. Inside here, we got several keys. Master lock. Okay, I guess must be one of those is the key to that little tiny lock there. And then we've got some pills here. So, all right, let's keep digging down in here. Got lots of hats. Holiday, marina. Looks like different like hats from traveling. Whatever that is. Zyotane, Zyotane Joe, I don't know, never heard of that. Georgia Tech, or no, sorry, Georgia Pride. The Peach State, Georgia Pride, the great state of Georgia, okay. Could have sworn I saw another one that said Georgia Tech. Maybe not. Got pictures. Another Swiss Army knife. I've had several of these already found. Lots of hats. Tons of hats, and they're all dusty. They're probably sitting up in the top of a closet collecting dust. Nervous Nellies. Crazy Waterfront Eatery. There's a Lakers hat. Looks at all dusty. Some belts. All right, that's about it. Some miscellaneous paperwork and stuff in there. Southern Sands for Yankees and other immigrants. No, you found a quilt and a little thing in my bob. And that's a lot. All right, we got another box here that we didn't look through. Look at this treasure, and Look, in, it's a piece of styrofoam with holes in it. That's amazing, huh? It is. And it goes in there, people stick plants in it. Yeah. What else came out of here? This little wooden basket. What in the world is this? What did you find, it's Dan? A it's a coconut light. Yeah, it's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, it's kind of interesting. Found a little quilt, a little small. This little plate has got stuff on that, but I can't read it. That looks familiar, like we did see that. Maybe, was that right on the top? Uh, the one that was right on top was broken. It's in okay. there. But yeah, it was like this. Okay. Yeah, so maybe you did see oh. it. Oh, huh? and what are those little people you found right there? Did you find it? Was that nut box? Yeah. Her arm's missing. Oh, her arm's broke? Yeah, and then this little cute little trinket powder. Hmm, okay. So far, that's not broke on what in the world is this? What is this? Cookie jar, I think. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, Chef He's Cookie Jar. He's not a McCoy. But... <laughs> what? I thought that after the last few weeks, I thought that's the only cookie jar they made was McCoy. Every one of them we found. This is Sterling. Silver reinforced with cement, so oh. they weighed it down in there. Oh. But, it's, but that's sterling silver. Yeah, that's that's another one, I think. Oh. The same thing. Candelabra. Oh, you said a closed mouth gathers no foot. <laughs> there you go. They, if you don't open your you mouth, you're not going to. Exactly. Why didn't they just say it that way? Dinner choices: one, take it; two, leave it. There you go. That's good Such wise little. Things they made. I think they made the, made these themselves. Yeah. Okay. Some candles. Uh, 
some kind of candle holder or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. but wait a minute. Look at this. What the? Texas sized jelly beans. There's still oh. some in there. They kind of look kind of gross looking. Yeah, I wouldn't want them. I wouldn't want those Texas jelly beans. All right, cups storage. This is one that I just untaped. We did not look through in the unit. And here we go, we got broken Tupperware. That stinks, because it is real Tupperware, but man, the lid's all cracked. <clears throat> Here's an orange one that is not cracked. A little bit dirty. Polliner Munchen, a big old beer mug there. Jumbo Juicer. All right, that's cool. Well, we got the little chicken soup. Cup flash bowl there. All right, so this is just going to be just a random mix here, I guess. Mugs and cups and glasses. Wow, look at that one. Okay, these are all mugs. I'm going to kind of skip over them. Here's another piece of Tupperware. And then we're going to have like, there's a Bubba little mug there cool gear All right just more mugs like the kind you get from a doctor's office or a bank or all that kind of stuff there, I'll unwrap all these here in just a minute let's just check over on this side and make sure there's something else Interesting besides that, it looks like it's gonna be mostly um mugs and stuff on there. Wonder Woman. What is that? Silver plate. One more mug here, let's see. Atlanta, the peach state one that you'd get like as a souvenir all right so that's that all right i think for the most part we've looked through everything that um hasn't been looked through as far as you know all the boxes that we didn't look through i've already looked through them all now that doesn't mean that there's not some stuff down in these boxes that we haven't got to do that we might find a surprise haven't seen the Rolexes, probably not going to find them. They probably just had the boxes, but you never know. Still holding out with hope. You might get to the bottom of one of these boxes and there's a little cardboard box or a Ziploc bag or something with them in it, but probably not. But even still, this unit turned out really, really good, especially for the price. Like I always you know, talk about, it's like when you buy these cheap ones and they turn out good, they turn out really good. So, I mean, if I would have paid like, you know, thousand dollars plus for this one it wouldn't have been near as good but at 260 bucks i mean that was a deal for real i've already sold um i sold the door but put the door out on saturday and then i sold it first thing this morning this is tuesday morning so i sold it for 295 dollars and then i sold some of the other furniture and I haven't put a whole lot of that out in the store but i did sell a few pieces of furniture most of the small stuff is getting worked into the auction that'll be ending this friday and then i have that piece of stereo equipment this this you know the 700 dollars one and then i have the um billy dolls <laughs> those are pretty pricey we'll see what we're going to do with them things and there is some gold some silver a few pieces a few little small pieces of gold some silver so but we still could have a could have a crazy surprise that we find in here but even still it's been a really really good unit there was trash in it but like i said i mean 260 when you find one item 
that pays for the whole unit. But when you find several items, like that pays for the unit, that pays for the unit, that pays for the unit, it like it makes it so easy. Everything else you can just sell for for whatever you want. You don't have any stress of saying, oh, I've got to get this for it because I got to. I paid X amount and I've got to, I got to try to get up to, you know, that point of at least getting my money back and making some money. But when you just do it off of one item and then another item and then, and all those items are just, you know, chunks paying for the whole thing. Easy, easy. And, um, lots of clothes, like all these clothes are out of there. Tons of clothes. I mean, there's probably 300 pieces plus of clothes and a lot of them are pretty, pretty nice stuff that'll that'll sell pretty quickly at a buck each but that's pretty much it if i find something crazy and good then i'll let y'all know i'll post it here or post something on facebook or instagram so if you're not following facebook and instagram red dirt resell we're on facebook and instagram some of the same stuff you see here and some different stuff that you might not ever see here ends up on there but that's it for this one if you like this video give us a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe to the channel and y'all have a good one all right and just she's going through a box of just a junk box over there office and everything look what she found she found a mont block but it's not a mont block pen it's a highlighter i just opened it up it's a yellow highlighter i looked them up in there um pretty pricey too i saw like one of them 400 bucks but pretty nice looking on the outside there it's got the case and everything the highlighter needs a little, um, wonder, hopefully it's like the pens I know you can go get refilled. The highlighter's a little bit dry. It still works, but it's a little bit dry. So still finding, pulling out a few treasures here. Lots of just ordinary, regular stuff and a little treasure here and there.